Today we're going to show you how we feed 800 street dogs like these in a single day. I started feeding street dogs here in Thailand in 2021 because everywhere you looked there were street dogs who were hungry and I knew I wanted to do something about it. I've met some amazing people along the way and there's now a whole group of us who feed these 800 street dogs every day and I wanted to introduce you to some of them and tell you about the process. The food is all made fresh and it's optimized for nutrition and for their health and that's why these street dogs look so genuinely healthy. If you want to find out how to feed 800 street dogs, how much the recipe costs and exactly who cooks it, let's jump right into that. So we've got Pipa and Pilek who are just starting off the cooking for the day and they're the ones who make the dogs incredibly happy with their wonderful cooking skills. <laughs> So this is the kitchen where three Thai ladies now, it's jumped up to three, all make the food. They're busy preparing at this time. It's half seven in the morning. So there's a lot of chopping of vegetables. The rice is on boiling, the stock is cooking, and they're busy preparing the food. The inspector is here. Checking out the food supply is happy. We're happy, aren't we? Oh yeah. So once the food is cooked and delivered, it's left in these fridges around the island. The volunteers, it's free for them. They can come in, grab their bag of food, five kg or a 10 kg, and that's how we feed 800 dogs all around the island. So each dog gets about 500 to 550 grams, which looks something like this. Obviously on the street, we don't measure it out, but if the dogs are sick and have maybe weight issues, anything like that, we do weigh it out. So you can see it looks absolutely delicious. And Jules is gonna tell you exactly how we made that. It's a recipe that we had to talk to all the feeders because obviously they had their own recipes. We had to test it on all the dogs. It took us about two months of Jules research and everything. Obviously the most important is that the dogs like it, but I like to think it's like a risotto of pumpkin and fresh chicken but Jules will explain in more detail what it is exactly. Okay so the food contains minced chicken, chicken blood, carrots, pumpkin, cabbage, eggs, coconut oil and of course to fill it up with rice. Right Derek you want to taste? <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> not just only the food, it also helps with the skin and drawing back the fur. Derek had almost no fur when he arrived here and since we started feeding the fresh cooked food, his fur is just amazing. I mean, look at him. That nice, Derek. Once the food is all packed into the truck, it then drives off around the island and we give the food to shelters. We give it to myself. I feed some of the dogs, goes down to different volunteers all around the island, including even Sybil. Sybil has about 20 disabled dogs. They're absolutely adore it just as much as the able-bodied dogs. And it also even comes to my own home. So Jumbo, my dog here has it. We use it at the land. So the food really does get distributed all around the island. Woo! <laughs> 
So one of the main questions I get asked a lot is how much does this food cost? And the answer is for everything from cooking it to buying the ingredients to drivers to petrol to everything it costs about four thousand dollars per month american dollars so that's about 130 dollars per day so we're able to feed 800 dogs for 130 dollars a day the most nutritious delicious meal they've ever had so it actually works out cheaper than kibble it's healthier and it's way more nutritious <coughs> There's your dinner behind you, mister. Thank you. So at the end of the day, that happens every single day. Pifa and her lovely team are in there cooking. The driver is picking it up every evening for the next day. All the volunteers are prepping their little medicines and their water bowls, because the dogs do need water as well to take out to the, the street dogs. And it's just nice to know that 800 dogs are, are really nicely fed every day. It's not massively expensive when you break it down and consider how many dogs we're feeding. They get really nutritious food. It makes them nice and healthy and everything runs seamlessly, but it does rely on people helping out on the ground and being out there serving the dogs and bringing them water and medicines as well so that's how we feed 800 dogs might have sounded daunting at the start but i think you will feel very happy when you see them enjoying their little dinners <laughs> A lot of people from afar often ask how they can help and the simplest way of all is just hitting the subscribe button. It takes literally one second and it does help massively. There's a lot of people who do this out of the goodness of their heart. We're trying to feed 800 dogs every day. The other stuff we do, we share in future videos like sterilizing and medicines and vet trips and stuff like that. But just hitting that subscribe button will be a massive help. Thank you.